In this video, we're going to be looking at how to create a flight path map in Tableau. We'll be using the make point and make line functions. So we'll be using make point to create the points at each end of the flight and make line to create the flight path itself. We'll then use the distance calculation to create the length of each flight. I will add that along with some other details to the tooltip to give some context to each flight. Okay, we'll then add this dynamic header at the top here showing the total number of flights from this particular country on this date. And you'll see that that changes when we switch between different countries using these filters, which we'll add there as well. Okay, let's open up a new workbook and get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is connect to the flight data. So I'll provide a link in the description below to where I found this data online. And uh, just to know that I have cleaned this data up, so wherever the origin or the destination was null, I've removed those lines. And I've added a row ID and a few of the fields as well, using other data sources, which I'll also provide the links for. So don't take anything that you see here as accurate data in terms of the actual flights that occurred on that day. It's just sample data to be able to complete this exercise. So we have in the file some latitudes and longitudes for the origin and the destination. So we need to create some spatial objects from those. So the first thing we're going to do is create uh, the origin point and the destination point. So you may have seen me use this make point function in previous videos. It takes in a latitude and a longitude and it returns a spatial point for that location. Okay, and here I've just repeated that same exercise for the destination point. So the next thing I can do is create the line using those two spatial points. So in this case, the make line takes two spatial points, the start and the end. And these are the points that we've just created with the prior two calculations. Before we start to build out the view, let's just take a look at the underlying data and we can see the results of the calculations that we've just created. The first one was looking at the origin point. So we've taken the origin latitude, the origin longitude, and created this spatial point. Then did the same for the destination with the latitude longitude to create this point. And to finally we use this point and this point to create the line string, which is the line, the flight path. And it's these three spatial objects that will be going onto the map using map layers to render the flight paths. The first thing I'm gonna do is add the flight path into the view. And as always, that comes into the view as one mark, as you can see in the lower left. So I'm going to add in the row ID to break these out into the individual components. And you can now see we have 80, almost 85,000 marks. So the first thing I want to do is filter this data down to flights that originate from one country, just to make it a bit easier to work with. So I'll put the origin country onto filters, and let's just select Belgium. So now we can see we've got 484 marks for Belgium. And that's covering two days worth of data, so let's filter down to one day. And I'll show both of these filters. And I just want to make this single selection as well. The next thing we'll do is create two separate map layers, one for the origin and one for the destination point. So I'll just drag the origin point into the view and we see an add a marks layer indicator, just drop it on there. And you see we get these circles in the middle. So I'm going to actually change those to the circle mark type. And then I'm going to bring the row ID in to separate those out. We'll make those a bit smaller and I'll color those white for now. And then we'll do the same for the destination points. We'll just make these a kind of reddish color. And we'll do the rest of the formatting later. For the tooltip, I want to bring in a few more fields to give that extra context. Okay, and I'll just drop those onto the tooltip. And then there's one more field I want to have in there, which is the distance. So we need to create another calculation for that. So again, for the distance, we need a start, the end, and then the units. So I'm using these origin point, the destination point, and then I'm going to calculate the distance in miles. And you could also use kilometers. Okay, and I'll just drop this onto the tooltip as well. And then we can go ahead and edit the tooltip. So I've just added those fields in with some formatting. We can preview that. And we can also click OK and then go ahead and view that with some real data. OK, that looks pretty good. So the next thing we do, we can create the dynamic header. So for that, we need one more calculation, which is using the size function. So the size table calculation will return the total number of rows in that partition. So to ensure we get the right result, we need to add it to view. And then we use the compute using option to ensure that it's calculating across the row ID, which is a unique field for each row of the data. Okay, so I'll just double click to edit the title. We'll remove what's in there and then we'll insert the total flights. 
calculation we just added. And then I want to insert the country, the origin country that's currently selected. And then finally I'll add in the date. And I'm just going to bold these to indicate that these are dynamic. Okay, and we can see that the dynamic title is updated now to show 333 flights from Belgium on the 17th of December, 21. And if we go to the 25th, that goes down to 151. Okay, so you notice that there's 333 flights, but we have 999 marks in the view. And that's because we're rendering three marks per flight, the origin point, destination point, and the line itself. Okay, so the final thing to do is change the formatting. So I'm gonna right click on the map, go to map layers, and we're gonna to change to a dark map, and then I'll just take off some of these fields. Okay, I want to make the lines a bit thinner. I'm going to change those to a light blue cyan color. Let's select a few different countries to make sure it's working okay. Okay, great, that seems to be working okay. Okay, so I'll go ahead and upload this workbook to my Tableau Public page and I'll put a link to that in the description below. So you can go ahead and download that and take a look. So Flight Path Maps, really good use case for make line and make point. It's a good one to experiment with. And if you just have a list of locations, you can also dynamically create lines between those points by using parameter actions. So do in uh, this visualization here, so you can pick Bali and it will draw a line from Bali to all of the other locations. And I'll put a link to this workbook in the description below and you can download this and take a look. There's lots of other examples here from the actual 2019.2 release. Okay, hope it's been useful. Thanks for watching.